Hello folks, I'm Roger here at Mercedes-Benz in Scarborough, Maine. Wanted to do a, nice, a video of this really nice pebble gray, 170 inch extended, 4x4, 3500 dual rear wheel Sprinter van. Um, it's got some really good equipment. I'm going to cover some of that with you in this video. Um, right here, right away, we can see, I'm going to point this out, this has the LED lights. Um, so the LED lighting package is very, very difficult to get this year. Uh, Mercedes-Benz actually did run out of the lighting package. Uh, they also ran out of the uh, chrome grill, uh, and this one has the chrome grill as well, uh, which is very, very nice. Um, we have the fog lights as well. Um, there's just the, I'm going to show you some more options too. Like I said, there was some options that were very difficult to get this year. This van actually has some of those options. Um, also, we'll come around here to the passenger side. We had the uh, wheels, instead of them coming in silver, we had them painted black, uh, which looks really good with the pebble gray. Um, this would be a great van too to upfit um, for uh, someone that wants to do some traveling because we have so much floor space. Um, 16 feet of floor space in this van, as well as it comes with the hardwood floor. Uh, very easy to keep clean. In the ceiling in the high roof too, it's 76 inches high, so uh, uh, someone that's like six foot four can stand straight up in this van without bumping their head. Um, and also, uh, this has got the rear windows and the barn doors. It's got the uh, defroster too, so in the winter time you can defrost the glass. This has the uh, 270 degree door package as well. So the doors do open all the way up. It's got the nice step here for easy access in and out of the back of the van. If someone, you know, uh, was interested too, this van is pre-wired for a trailer hitch. You can actually put a trailer hitch on this as well. Um, you can tow 5,000 pounds with the 3500 dually extended. Um, just an overall great uh, four-wheel drive Sprinter van. And then uh, we're going to come around here to the driver's side of the vehicle. I always like to point this out so your fuel filler is right here. So when the driver's side door is closed, you can't open that fuel door. Open up the driver's door here and there you go. And they have it marked with diesel fuel so you won't mistaken to put gasoline in it. Also, this comes with the nice uh, leatherette seats. Uh, very, very durable. It's got the comfort seat package, so you have all these adjustments. This is for the back of your legs. We have the lower lumbar support. This lever jacks the seat up and down for comfort. Also, you can recline it uh, with this knob back here. And then also, this has the swivel seat package in there as well. Very, uh, very easy to swivel the seats. And then uh, this has uh, heated electric mirrors and uh, several other options. Uh, we're going to hop inside the van now. I'm going to display some uh, things inside of here with you. All right, folks, so we're sitting here in the cab of the Pebble Gray 3500 uh, 170 extended four wheel drive. Um, right up here in the dash, this has the wireless charging tray. Uh, we have a USC port right here for Apple CarPlay. Also, Droid will work on this as well. Um, another option that we had a very difficult time getting is the 10 and a quarter inch uh, MBUX screen, which this van has. Um, so uh, there's not very many of these vans out there in the marketplace that have the 10 and a quarter inch uh, screen right now because there was a shortage of those as well. Um, we compare two cell phones. We have navigation, um, which you can uh, shrink the screen and enlarge it. And then come over here to the radio. So this has the uh, Sirius XM satellite radio, uh, FM and AM as well. And then there is another place, this media center right here. You can actually pair your cell phone to that media center and get your, uh, your music from your phone onto the system as well. We have an info center right here. You can keep track of your fuel consumption. We have an app store, so once the MBUX system is connected uh, to you, um, you can utilize the app store. And we have your vehicle settings right here. So this has uh, ESP, which is stability control. It has lane tracking assist. 
It has parking assist. Um, also, it has traffic sign assist which is really nice, it's visible right there. It'll tell you whatever the speed limits are and you, wherever you may be. Um, there's your active lane keeping assist. Uh, we see we get a few other things to go over here. We have active brake assist, so when you have your cruise control on, if you're coming up on someone too fast, the van will slow itself down. Uh, we have attention assist, so if you're on a long trip, uh, the van will actually give you an alert that you're getting drowsy to pull over and take a break. We have blind spot assist too, so when you're uh, trying to park the van uh, or you're um, changing lanes on the highway, if somebody's in your blind spot, it's going to give you an alert. And then we have the acoustic door locks. And this uh, has shows your lighting and you can adjust your lights uh, however you prefer them. And then in the systems, uh, one of the things that I really like about this, the time and date. So you st set it on automatic time zone, and it's going to uh, stick to that time zone and give you the correct time in your area. And then over here on the steering wheel, um, on the right-hand side, you can control your MBUX system. There's a little mouse pad here. Um, you can do the volume on your radio and answer your phone and hang it up. And on the left-hand side, you have your cruise control, which is uh, it's really simple to set your cruise just with your thumb. Um, so this is a great all-around uh, Sprinter van to do some upfitting with or use it for a work truck. Uh, so if anyone out there is looking for a 3500 Dually uh, 170 extended four-wheel drive, my name is Roger. Uh, please feel free to give me a call. You can reach me on my cell phone at 207-838-0169. Thank you so much.